So in this exercise we're making a kitchen using Autodesk Inventor. Now you will have saved the library of parts into your folder so we're going to place the room component into the environment and then press escape to make sure that it's only got one room. That shows us the space there. Now as you can see the room moves around so we want to stop that from happening by right clicking on it and selecting grounded. That prevents the room then from moving around which is exactly what we want. Now what we're going to do is we're going to place two cabinets into the room and then we will constrain them to the floor. So what you need to establish is what is the bottom surface and if we look closely we can see what the bottom surface of the cabinet is and we want to select that surface and then constrain it using the make command to the floor. What we now need to do is constrain the back surface of the cabinet to the wall using the make command again. So we select the back surface we select the wall and we choose the mate command. Okay, so now the cabinet can only move to the left or the right along the back wall. It can't move outwards and it can't move upwards. Okay, so we now need to constrain flush the side of the cabinet to the side wall. However, when we use the flush command, it will automatically set the offset distance to zero. So if you want your cabinet to be a different distance from the edge, you need to select that using the offset command and add the distance that you wish to offset the side of the cabinet by. For the second cabinet, we want to constrain that to the floor using exactly the same technique and then constrain the back of the cabinet to the back wall. Once you've done that, it's simply a case then of constraining the left-hand side of the second cabinet to the right-hand side of the first cabinet using the mate command. Now what we'll do is we'll place a wall unit into our kitchen. So we'll select it from the menu and place it into our environment, paying close attention to where the bottom of the cabinet is, and that can be identified by the position of the handle. We'll constrain mate the bottom of the wall cabinet to the top of the floor standing cabinet, but we'll use an offset distance of 800 millimetres. Now we will constrain mate the back surface of the cabinet to the wall. And then finally, we will use the flush command to constrain the left-hand side of the wall cabinet to the left-hand side of the floor cabinet. Now let's add a worktop that will cover the two units, so we'll select the 1200mm worktop and we will constrain the front flat surface to the wall using the mate command. Then we will mate the top of the worktop to the top of the unit and then we will flush the side edge of the unit to the side surface of the cabinet.